he's a very interesting character because uh, he makes works that are not art you know and he he doesn't really care if he's art or not or to me I don't know from how I see his work you know his uh, um, I think his artworks are like beyond the idea of art or um, beauty or like the need to aestheticize uh, certain objects or a painting or you know a, a form of expression uh, mm -hmm. What is so unique about his work is is just there, is existing as a, a you know, it's like it's like a life that exists, you know. And you cannot say that this life is uh, good or bad or or evil or whatever it, you, you because it's hard to judge this life and and uh, the the life itself is actually you know it feels like he, uh, he's like just living it all the way to prepare for the death you know it's some kind of uh, uh, how do you say? Yeah, I think it is a uh, there's a um, it's somewhat kind of uh, I I feel kind of philosophical about it about how his art is is like you know it's like we are living living a life to prepare for the death and that is the art you know. So, so it actually transcends all this idea about judgment because the world is so full of all this judgment and when, when you recognize that life and when you prepare this life for the death of it, then everything else is not important anymore. You are really just taking that journey and you don't even care whether about judgment whether it's right is wrong it's bad is good it's ugly is beautiful it's all gone beyond that it's really just creating that journey understanding that process until the end and you die and that's it and that's the art for me by some Pernambang Chang's art